Hello everyone. Today's class focuses on the passive voice. So what is the passive voice? A passive voice sentence is when the object of the sentence gets promoted to the subject position. Passive voice is used when the focus is on the action. It is not important or even known, however, who or what is performing the action. If a sentence doesn't have an object, you can't move words around to make it passive. Here's an active sentence with no object. We ran. There's no way to make that passive without adding something. So here's the basic structure of an active voice sentence. The thief stole my car. So here you have the subject, the verb, and the object. The thief is the subject. It's taking the action and is in the subject position. And the car is the object. It is being acted on and is in the standard object position. Now let's look at the basic construction of a passive voice sentence. The object plus the verb to be and the verb in the past participle. If you flip it around and promote the object, the car, to the subject position before the verb, you get a passive sentence. My car was stolen. The focus is on the fact that my car was stolen. I don't know who did it. Sometimes a sentence will omit the subject entirely and you'll end up with something like this. The letter was mailed. Note that the receiver of the action is still in the subject position. Let's take a close look now at that structure. So here, an active sentence is subject with the finite form of the verb and the object. And the passive voice is with the object, the verb to be plus the past participle, and optionally, the subject. And you can see quite clearly that the object is moved from the end of the sentence to the beginning. The verb stays in the middle but changes form and the subject is moved to the end or left out entirely. So the thief stole my car becomes my car was stolen by the thief. We can use the passive voice in any tense. Here we see it being used in the present tense. Birds eat worms becomes worms are eaten by birds. So here we can take a look at a sentence written in three different forms in the passive voice. In the present simple, it is made. In the present continuous, it is being made and in the present perfect it has been made. So when should you use the passive voice? Sometimes a statement in passive is more polite than active voice. An error was made. This sentence focuses on the fact that an error was made but it doesn't blame anyone. General truths do not apply to a specific person. It can refer to anyone. Rules are made to be broken. If you want to put more attention on the object than on the action that was done to it or the person who did it. Facebook was created in 2004. So let's practice what we've learned. 
Create passive sentences in the simple present tense that include these words. Now do the same, but in the simple past. Now try to rewrite these sentences in the passive voice. And that brings us to the end of today's class. For more information on our one-to-one -one classes with a native speaking teacher, visit speakeasyone-to-one.com. Thanks for watching.